The Kent County 911 Communications Center is actively working to update its technology so calls are on one system for responding agencies. That upgrade could give the agency the option to link with app programs, providing life-saving results for you. 24 Hour News 8 Sarah Hurwitz is here to explain how this all works. Sarah? Well, there are several apps that act like an Amber Alert for cardiac arrests using GPS locations to alert users if there's an emergency nearby. For one cardiac arrest survivor whose life or death situation was a matter of minutes, she says the app and programs like it are a crucial life-saving tool. I really just st started to gasp for breath and my husband thought I was having a seizure and realized that I wasn't having a seizure and it was something more. It was November 2009 when Ada resident Nicole Tilton went into cardiac arrest. Her husband immediately jumped into action. He thinks within 30 seconds because he literally picked me up from the chair, threw me down and started just pumping my chest while my kids were calling 911. She credits her survival to immediate CPR. What if Nicole Tilton's husband wasn't home, but her neighbor just down the road trained in CPR was? Apps like Pulse Point are designed to bridge the gap between onset and arrival. It just takes one person that's close, that's within two minutes, maybe the fire department's within four minutes, and that's two minutes ahead of us that they can get CPR started. Kentwood Fire Chief Brent Lumen says an app like Pulse Point gives a patient a much better chance to survive, using GPS locations to alert users of an emergency nearby. It's a program the Kent County 911 Communications Center would consider after getting all of its dispatch systems on board. All the police and fire uh, partners, the EMS community, Community, medical control, there's a lot of people that have to be involved in which applications we're going to use locally. The new technology is still just a possibility, but cardiac arrest survivor Nicole Tilton hopes it becomes a reality. I think it would really, really save lives exponentially. And there are some security concerns with programs like this with cyber hacking of delicate information and people using the app to take advantage of others instead of helping them. That's something that Kent County 911 Communications would need to look into. In studio, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.